Oh, Larry Anglosano reporting for Kit Planes and Aviation Consumer Magazine here at AirVenture 2019 in Oshkosh. Delta Hawk Engines is here at the show with the 180 horsepower Jet A Burden four cylinder engine. Now, the company's been uh, working towards certification for a while now, but as they stand here at the show, they hope to have this engine certified by the end of the year. Now, the initial target market for this Delta Hawk engine is experimental airplanes, although it will be a certified engine. And down the road, they're looking to get into uh, certified airplanes. To tell us more about the engine and the project in general, here's Dennis Webb. We've been here many years. We've been uh, talking about certification for a while, and this year we're very close. Uh, expect to be certified by the FAA by uh, end of 2019. A lot of good things have happened at Delta Hawk as far as performance improvements, endurance improvements. The engine was really good, but we weren't happy with it, and now we're very happy with it. We've passed a lot of internal tests that go way beyond what actually the FAA requires just to make sure that this engine is hate to say bulletproof, but we'll use that as the word once it gets to the marketplace uh, later this year. Um, and we're so very excited about where we're at. For those who don't know much about this engine, our first model is 180 horsepower. It's a jet fuel burning uh, engine. Its whole premise is simple, few parts. So we've managed to squeeze a lot of horsepower out of few parts, which makes it simple to maintain, uh, simple to operate, simple, simple, simple. Uh, it's turbocharged and supercharged, gives great altitude performance, gives great fuel efficiency, average 35 to 40 percent better fuel efficiency than an Avgas engine of the same horsepower for this for a similar type mission. A lot of redundancies built in. It's got mechanical fuel injection actually, which is fairly uh, novel. Uh, uh, which means there's not a bunch of complex electronics and sensors and things things to go wrong. Uh, we can fail a fuel system and keep on flying at reduced power. We can fail a cooling system and keep on flying at reduced power. We can fail an air system and keep on flying at reduced power. In fact, you can fail the electrical system in the aircraft and keep on flying. This was an engine designed by pilots for pilots. The same people who are worried about the, their kids in the back of the airplane. The same people who write checks for operations. Yeah, this engine is very unique, and as, as I mentioned, we are power reimagined. Uh, what would an engine look like if somebody had the opportunity to really start from scratch and imagine what they wanted in their airplane? This is a very simple design. There's no cams, no valves, no lifters, no push rods like traditional engines. Very simply put, it's a, it's a compression ignition engine that burns jet fuel. We have four cylinders and a V configuration. That's great structure from an engineering standpoint. It makes it a very solid. Uh, solid engine. So you notice it's V configuration like most, most automobile engines are V6s or V8s. Um, it is direct fuel injected uh, very and with fuel pumps in the back. We have great cold starting capability. Uh, we have both glow plugs for cold starting as, as most diesel type technology engines uh, have. We also have built in, it's not an option, Tannis uh, preheater is built into the engine from the get go. Every fa everyone gets one uh, as a standard equipment and we work with Tannis uh, closely to make sure that we have it optimized uh, for, our, for our engine. Uh, in this configuration here, uh, you'll notice that it's, the engine is pointed in a V going upwards. Uh, in most installations, it'll actually be installed what we call inverted with the V pointing down. Uh, that gets the prop center lines matched up with, with the typical aircraft. Uh, and that makes for a very efficient aerodynamic installation in the airplane and we actually can pick up quite a bit of efficiency and usable thrust because of, of the front end uh, cowling design which gives you a great, great aerodynamic profile. Uh, looking on, on the top here, of course it would be on the bottom if it was, if it was uh, in the inverted configuration, is a supercharger. It's a brand new design, very high efficiency, very high pressure ratios, a lot of air uh, we can pump through that with very low power. Uh, it's also uh, turbocharged, so we get, and of course what's not shown here is a charged air cooler or intercooler which we installed in the airframe. Uh, between the turbocharger and the supercharger, we get eight great altitude performance, uh, great efficiency. They also provide a backup. If either one of those would fail, the engine still keeps running. Slightly reduced power, but we still get great, uh, great performance.
We're here at the show uh, this year with the Cirrus SR20, which is fitted with our, our aircraft. Of course, it's an experimental right now until it's certified and STCs happen. A lot of fun putting that together, and it's, it's sitting right here in front of the booth for people to come and see. Our initial target market for the engine, uh, once we're certified again later this year, will be primarily the experimental marketplace. Certified engines, of course, but in the experimental marketplace. We're working on kits right now for some of the more popular models, starting with things like the RV-7, Velocity, and other, other, other aircraft. We have a show special this year, which is kind of fun to talk about. Uh, it's a little different than just buying an engine. We want to make sure we have very happy customers, uh, and so we're, we're kind of doing a turnkey offer right now for 89.9 uh, we are offering it'll be a certified engine FA certified engine firewall forward now by firewall forward of course it might be firewall rearward if it happens to be a velocity uh, it would be a complete package which is the engine mounting the certified engine the complete engine mounting system all of the fuel systems lubrication systems cooling systems constant speed propeller a cowling uh, painted to match your airplane and even an engine monitoring system three years of warranty with 600 hours of warranty as well all for 899 and by the way that's fully installed by our a and technicians at our facility in the Racine Wisconsin we think that's a pretty good deal and it'll get some airplanes out flying uh, with people and, and they can see how much what a cool engine this really is this engine's been engineered to be very maintainable with just wrenches in the field. Most all critical components are externally mounted for easy access. For example, right here is the oil pump. Oil pump you'll see is mounted on the outside of the engine. A few bolts, a few bolts you can take it off, disconnect it, replace it, service it, just like the external fuel pump, the external supercharger, the external heating system. Everything's been made for serviceability for, uh, for the mechanic or the, the pilot owner in the field. Um, the uh, but people often ask about what's the TBO of the engine. Uh, of course, the FAA establishes TBO, but um, our, we are shooting for 2,000 hour TBO in the beginning, right out of the box. And again, that's at the FAA's discretion. But as part of our certification plan, we're not just meeting minimum uh, requirements for their testing. We have extended testing built into our certification plan so we can get that TBO uh, way out at the get-go. We understand how important that is to people. So that's our plan going forward and we're expecting even longer ones beyond that as we get more experience with the engine. You can, uh, we uh, certainly love uh, feedback from people, but they can learn about us on our, on our website. The best way is, is deltahawk.com, very simple.